today. I saw that. If anyone, yeah. if viewers want to look at it, and it nothing, they're not as uh, coordinated as that. She just that she blows yeah. everything into it. She's not shy. <laughs> she's yeah. gonna be. Uh, she's gonna be on Broadway or yes. something in a few yeah. years, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, kind of not shy like you. Uh, yeah, that's me at the clubs on the weekends. No. <laughs> this I got Didn't you just that. have to lip sync something, a rap for a charity benefit? Uh, it was Campfire, the uh -oh. Campfire organization. Yeah, I did rap. And you delight. won, right? I did. Nice. Yes. Nice. <laughs> we might have to see that to uh, put it on there. I don't air. think there Groovy was any video. That's right. Yeah. Groovy mm -hmm. ladies. That's right. Mm -hmm. Groovy and pink today, too. <laughs> All right. So 88 degrees, a little yeah. bit cooler than yesterday. Just a few degrees. I mean, it's still hot out no matter how you look at it. You can see upper 80s to lower 90s through wine country and the gorge right now. A little cooler out towards the coast. Here's a live look at Mount St. Helens. You can see the snow. Well, not much left of it with the hot temperatures going on. Here's Skamania Lodge right now. We've been seeing some high clouds in your area with some thunderstorms in the central parts of Oregon earlier today. So we're getting some of those debris clouds. A few wispy clouds there for you in Dundee. Stoller Family Estate, nice day for you. And out towards the coast, very comfortable right now. Mostly sunny with temperatures 64 for you in Astoria. So we do have the 90s on the map. 97 in Lake Oswego right now. Still 92 in Beaverton. Lower 90s for Hillsboro and Tiger to 89 for you in Chihuahua. East side are still very warm once again. 86 downtown, 89 for you in Vancouver and Milwaukee. Good afternoon to you, sitting at 91 degrees. Now, temperatures for the valley really have been the hottest today there, and also the gorge. You can see 91 in Hood River, 61 for you in Lincoln City right now in Bend at 84 degrees. Not only are we talking about the hot temperatures, but we're talking about the very dry conditions and the breezy conditions. In fact, the National Weather Service will extend this red flag warning for the areas shaded in this red color for Central Oregon, parts of the Gorge, and even parts of Washington through 10 o'clock tomorrow night due to the fact that we're going to see the low relative humidity levels. We're going to uh, feel the northwest winds gusting up to potentially 35 miles per hour. And with the dry conditions in place, again, uh, fires could spread very, very quickly. So if you're Shaded in red again, I just recommend not burning at all. Another thing we have to watch for too is lightning strikes. Now, we did see a few storms earlier today. Those have since really fizzled out in the northern parts of the state. Still watching the southern areas where we could still see a few isolated storms coming in later this afternoon. But this is good news for parts of California because we do have a system that's moving in that's bringing a nice rainfall for parts of the valley in California. And actually, that system is going to impact our weather. What that's going to do is push this high pressure system toward the east and that's going to give us more of that onshore flow coming in for the next several days and that's going to help cool us off so we're going to see some morning clouds potentially starting in the latter part of the week and maybe even a little bit of patchy drizzle out towards the coast but for portland the rest of tonight still going to be a warm one 84 by seven o'clock mid to lower 70s through 9 and then 64 degrees around 11 staying mostly clear. Now the planner for tomorrow going to cool us down to the lower 80s. We'll wake up right around 55 degrees, mostly sunny, 62 by 10 o'clock, ending up right around 81 by 4, down to 79 by 6 o'clock. So if you don't have the AC like myself, I'm actually looking forward to this one. But like I mentioned, we could see a little patchy drizzle coming in this forecast. I think that's going to be along the coast potentially tomorrow morning with partial clearing. The valley going to stay dry, still very warm though for Salem, 84 degrees, ending up right around 80 for Kelso, 81 for us in Portland. Eastsiders for tomorrow, that red flag warning will continue dry and breezy with those northwest winds. Same through the gorge. Still hot though in the Dalles at 90 degrees and 75 in government camp. So that extended forecast for the metro area will call for that slight cool down coming in the next couple of days. Much more comfortable conditions, especially for your sleeping weather. That's for sure. As we get into the week and we're going to continue to stay into the 70s under partly cloudy skies Saturday and Sunday, dry Monday and Tuesday, right around 74 degrees. So I know Carly's looking forward to this a little bit because she doesn't have air conditioning, mm -hmm. but both you guys have air conditioning, right? I, I do in a couple yeah. rooms. I okay. have a really old house, so I have, we can only do those room ones. Right. And the so we all kind of go into... <laughs> Yeah, huddle in there together. It's, it's, work work. Yeah. It's, good, it's good family time. It, it is. Right? Family time. We play checkers. Oh, <laughs> bonding. Checkers, little connect four. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. I love connect four. <laughs> Great that one over. Oh, bottom shot's a good one too. Go right. fish, right? Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I haven't played go fish. Right. How about old maid? Old maid. Yeah. Old maid. I've played that. We could go on and on. Yeah, we could. But you have another accident.